Coinbase's Bitcoin reserves dropped to the lowest level since December 2017. This is an on-chain metric that you need to be paying attention to, and I'll tell you why here in a second. Investors seem ready to go on the day with reserves on major crypto exchange Coinbase at their lowest level since December 2017, 700,000 Bitcoin, and almost $20 billion in stablecoins sitting across uh, centralized trading platforms ready for conversion. After a period of moderate Bitcoin inflows following the May sell-off, Coinbase has seen a large outflow of coins. On-chain analytics firm Glassnode commented on the data. We would still love to have Glassnode sponsor the channel, so if anyone from Glassnode is watching, feel free to shoot us an email. We would love that. You can see here on this chart from Glassnode that the total amount of Bitcoin, a million Bitcoin was sitting on Coinbase back in January of this year. It has massively plummeted and just in the last couple of weeks, it has continued to go down again, dropping all the way to 700,000 Bitcoin from where it was just a couple of weeks ago at 750,000 Bitcoin. We talk about the net inflows and outflows on exchanges quite a bit here because the theory goes that the more cryptocurrency is moving off exchange, the less people are looking to sell it and those people are more than likely moving it to a storage so that they're able to hold it long term. What that means is that if we're seeing a massive decrease in the amount of people having cryptocurrency on exchange, it means that they're not looking to sell the cryptocurrency. They're looking to hold the cryptocurrency. On the other hand, the amount of stable coins in a cryptocurrency exchange is very important because the more stable coin that you have on a crypto exchange, the more likely it is that you are going to be uh, seeing a lot of people preparing to buy into a cryptocurrency from fiat. So what we've seen in the last several months is we've seen Bitcoin move off of exchanges into long term storage. We've also seen the amount of wallets holding cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin mainly for the long term increase dramatically. But we've also seen the amount of stable coins on exchanges go up. That means that more people are looking to buy into cryptocurrencies down here at these lower levels, even despite the rally that we've seen where Bitcoin has rallied 50% in just the last couple of weeks. So Bitcoin is looking very bullish for a multitude of reasons, not just the CBBI, which we talked about earlier, but also for reasons such as these. But there's another thing that we want to talk about here. And that is that Coinbase looks like they're going to be using Polygon, Matic, to help with scaling. This is a really big deal for anybody who uses Ethereum, especially anyone who uses Matic. I was talking about Matic a little bit on ATB yesterday. An engineering team at the U.S. cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase plans to integrate Polygon's Layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum with the exchange platform. The move marks a first for Coinbase's protocol team, which will attempt to reduce high prices and long settlement times, according to a press release on Tuesday. What we talked about yesterday was that the gas fees on Ethereum have massively increased. It costs up to $30 right now to send cryptocurrency on the Ethereum blockchain, and that's just not very healthy for Ethereum. It does mean that there's a lot going on on Ethereum. It means that the fundamentals are probably doing very well, but as far as simple retail adoption, how many people are going to spend $100 or less investing in Ethereum when it takes them that much Ethereum just to transact it. If they want to mint an NFT or something, they have to use that much Ethereum. That is not something that is scalable. However, that's why Polygon and Matic and some of these other layer two scaling solutions are coming online. And that's why Coinbase is looking at this. Integrating with uh, integrating with Coinbase will allow exchanges uh, exchange users to withdraw directly onto supported L2 solutions, layer two solutions. An exact date for the layer two integration has not yet been made public. The Coinbase protocol team is an experienced group of engineers aiming to contribute to the scaling of blockchains and community building. The team focuses on integrating various technologies with Coinbase products. The aim is to help level the playing field while ensuring retail users don't get priced out of being able to participate in the budding ecosystem according to their release. They say this will certainly help improve the Coinbase user experience. Let's go to full screen and discuss this. Two things. Number one, people are withdrawing cryptocurrency from Coinbase, likely moving it into long-term storage, meaning that Bitcoin is being hodled, meaning that the cryptocurrency of Bitcoin is being taken out of circulating supply, meaning that the, that the economics of Bitcoin are even more bullish than they were, meaning the stock-to-flow ratio is higher, meaning that it's more scarce, meaning that it's a better long-term store of value, which is the whole purpose of Bitcoin. Did you get that? (laughs) That's very important. And Bitcoin is doing very well right now based on these metrics. Based on other metrics, Coinbase is going to be adopting Polygon and using it to help with Ethereum scalability. This is not only a good thing for Bitcoin because we're seeing Bitcoin get locked up in long-term storage. We're also seeing Matic, Polygon, 
being adopted by Coinbase, which is undoubtedly going to be huge. If we look up Matic Polygon, Polygon's the name, Matic's the ticker symbol, we can see that it's only up 2.7% over the last 24 hours as this comes online. And, I'm, and we're going to do more research about this and keep you guys up to date on this. Uh, as this comes online over on Coinbase, it's probably going to be very beneficial for Ethereum's price action and Polygon's price action. So be looking at both of those. And it also means that the user experience on Coinbase is continuing to improve. Now, I think that it is a good idea for us to use decentralized exchanges as much as possible, but I completely agree with many people in the crypto space who say that we're never going to completely get away from centralized exchanges like Coinbase. We're always going to have centralized inst institutions working in the cryptocurrency market, so it's actually a very good thing for the fundamentals of crypto that exchanges like Coinbase are making such big strides, such as helping to uh, accelerate and uh, work with the um, transaction times and fees over on Ethereum. So, Tim, yeah. how important is Coinbase's success to the rest of cryptocurrency success, considering that Coinbase is a multi-hundred billion dollar exchange and one of the most commonly used by newer participants to the crypto space. Yeah, I was gonna say right there, the last sentence you just said is why they're so important, mm -hmm. is bringing people in. Mm -hmm. What I love about the metric you just read, Jeb, is, is that concept of people taking stuff off the exchange is a sign of education, mm -hmm. okay? Agree. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a sign of that's people actually point. learning more about how to handle their money and the safety of it. Uh, and I know there's some of that is frustration. So I've seen reports that some people are, are frustrated with Coinbase and, and, and it seems like their money is locked and stuff. However, it's an education of knowing, hey, if the smartest thing for me to do is actually hold this, let it sit, ha let me have control over it myself. Uh, however, Coinbase's value in bringing people into the crypto space and making it easy. That's one of the selling points of Coinbase. That's one of the things we tell people. I mean, Jeb, you were the one that, I remember when you set me up. I said, Jeb, we, on we Coinbase. Talking about exchanges. You said, you exchanges. Coinbase. Exchanges. <laughs> exchanges. <laughs> exchanges. Gosh. Uh, when you set me up, you I said, feel you, man. use Coinbase because it's the easiest. It's yep. the simplest. Yep. I just set up, so we were talking about Made for More's director, Joel. Mm -hmm. I set up Joel. And I see he's yeah, oh you got him set up on Coinbase mm -hmm. cool. Uh, what exchange should I use? I said Coinbase, and, and and I said the reason why is because it's so easy to set up. Yeah, it gets people involved. Same thing with Dogecoin. We hate Dogecoin. We hate Dogecoin. But the thing we have to give Dogecoin Dogecoin props for is Dogecoin. they got people into crypto. Yes, and I I have witnessed friends and family tell me about their Dogecoin holdings and then be like, all right, Tim, you were right. That sucked, but. I now hold Bitcoin. I now have Cardano. I now have Ethereum. I now have Solana. I now and they tell me all their stuff. I'm like, thank you. Like that's awesome. And only a few of those actually went in loss. I know a lot of people went in loss on Dogecoin. Either way, getting back to Coinbase, Coinbase is valuable. And I, and I wouldn't say I do think there will become a day where the education of crypto will no longer need Coinbase to operate the way it currently is operating at its scale. Yeah. But for now, we need Coinbase to be what it is. We yep. need, uh, you know, I know Binance isn't doing well, but we we need Binance. We need uh, BlockFi. We need yep. all these exchanges. And even though I don't utilize all of them, I'm mm -hmm. very glad they're there because they bring in the adoption. They bring in people getting involved. And and the good thing about money and what I love about crypto, especially Bitcoin, is is the soundness of it, the hardness of it, makes people actually care about their money. And when you care about something, you you research it, you think about it, you put a lot of thought into it, and that is what's going to breed a stronger, more established world economy Absolutely. and sound money is when people actually know what they're doing. Oh, I got a real good feeling. Got a real good feeling. Like